Welcome back, guys, to the awesomeness of Sailing Sunday. Today's all about capturing those good vibes as we set sail from the BVIs to the laid-back beauty of Puerto Rico, baby. We have the sun shining bright, a gentle breeze nudging us downwind, and the seas as calm as a Zen master. We even have our drone out today snagging some seriously gnarly shots, capturing the pure perfection of this moment. Ah, oh, mate, it's wicked. <laughs> Yeah, it was terrible. But anyway, stay with us and let's ride these awesome winds all the way to the unexpected adventure into Puerto Rico, where we go on a massive shopping spree after traveling almost five years at sea. Solid. Oh, downward sailing. <laughs> How good is it? Just made myself some popcorn. We're going like five and six knots. Downwind sailing's definitely the way to go. And that pole made such a difference. We're going double our speed now because we put the pole out. And I'm eating popcorn. So I'm having a seafood curry that I uh, prepared earlier and uh, now I'm just cooking the rice up. Coconut rice. <laughs> Brittany didn't help me one bit. <laughs> I'm not just standing here watching the pot. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell is going on out there? The swell's picked up a little bit. It's only meant to be one and a half meters today. What? That is a pathetic portion. Oh, come on. How much do you want? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Jackson, what's up? It's absolutely beautiful out here on our way to Puerto Rico. We were sailing downwind, but now it's kind of moved a little bit off to our beam. Maybe more of our 120. We will be arriving at night though, which is a, not ideal, but Ryan and I have gotten pretty confident in going in at night into anchorages, do a lot of research before we get there. So we kind of map out the whole place. Not only do we have our Navionics charts, but we can also see what it looks like from the air, check out Google Earth, Google Maps. So we have a pretty good idea of what we're in for before we get there. And then when we get there, we're gonna do some shopping because it's one of the best places to go again before we hit Bahamas, which once we get to Bahamas, basically getting anything is really difficult and groceries are hard to come by or really expensive. So it's time to stock up again. Now, I've downloaded some handy dandy movies and that's about it. You see, the sailor's life is about embracing it all. The calm and the storm, the sun and the rain. It's not always like this, you know, right now, we're taking you on a journey of a perfect sail across from the BVI's to Puerto Rico. Navigating new harbors in foreign lands under the stars at night might sound like a sailor's nightmare. The darkness, the unfamiliarity, the doubts, all conspiring to test even the saltiest of sailors. Many sailors out here often advise against it, and rightfully so. Yet, as we've lived on board here for nearly five years, that intimidating prospect has transformed. What was once a heart-pounding fear has evolved into now a fairly confident nod. But in the rare case, Brittany might be a little worried. We have this saying in Australia that gets you out of all sorts of trouble while amping up your own personal confidence. It goes, she'll be right. All right, guys, we made it to Puerto Rico. It's about 11.30 at night. We just dropped anchor in the harbor, which was actually pretty easy to navigate, which was nice. It's dead flat in here, so we're gonna pack the boat away, and I think we're gonna head off to bed. Have a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow we get to explore. Is yeah, that, that a Puerto Rican flag? That's a BVI's flag. Oh. I'm retiring it. <laughs> now, it's time for bed. Puerto Rico, but the roadmap won't work. So then someone said yes to the airport. I'm trying to show off to YouTube. <laughs> good morning, good morning. No better feeling than that first sip of coffee after a passage. So? If you're in Puerto Rico, you need to use an app on your phone called CBP Rome. 
uh, but for some reason we didn't get accepted so I had to go find out where to go to check in so my first bet is going to go to the ferry terminal so I'll go take the dinghy up to the uh, marina here dock it and walk around the ferry terminal and see if there's customs and immigration there to check in fingers crossed because it's a long walk it's not that long it's only like one kilometer <laughs> Navigating country check-ins via personal yacht can get tricky sometimes. It's not like an airport herd. Out here, you're on your own, expected to chart your own course. I don't know what that means, but I think it's like, welcome to the port. <laughs> so um, basically we're anchored out the front of the ferry terminal, but the marina's right back there. So instead of walking all the way from the marina, I just tied on the side of this uh, industrial port area here. I locked the dinghy, so I hope it's okay. Anyway, let's go check in and see what's up. And as you can see, I got no idea where I'm going. But, uh, well, that's not it. They're closed. I guess I have to walk around the corner further. It's the unknown experiences like these that makes travel fun. Went in there and it's just like dead empty. And uh, people, it's got their like, no filming, no this, no that. Oh, hold on, here's some poor people up ahead. I reckon this looks more lively, this place here. Yeah, customs and border protection. Boom. All right, guys. This is it, there's more people here, so something's up. The other place was like completely closed and empty, so this should be the one. Once we finally checked ourselves into the country and now legally allowed to go explore, we set off to do so. Well, we actually needed to go straight to the shopping mall to buy a few things that we desperately needed. But, Puerto Rico is a pretty incredible place. The vibes here are really something else, like a mixtape of laid back culture with vibrant Caribbean energy. But throw in a dash of hustle and bustle from the US. So that Uber, he was such a nice guy. He told us all about the island and it cost us $5.98. Yeah, now we're going to Best Buy because we need a hard drive. Unlike most places we visited in the Caribbean, this place is filled with massive American trucks, huge chain stores, huge restaurants, fast food, and massive everything everywhere you look. If you ever get an RV around America, that's it. <laughs> Party bus. It's like we're in a whole nother world, everyone. Yeah, it's a little different to the old Caribbean, <laughs> but we're in the Caribbean. <laughs> Guys, help me. Level one, go this way. It's this way on level one. She's killing me. She's happy we got a hard drive and she got underwear. <laughs> All right guys, so the dinghy stopped. We got a bunch of provisions. Uh, we got the things we needed, the hard drive, um, a couple other things, some life jackets. We still need to go back in tomorrow, get some flares. What do we need? Some flares and our flares are expired. Uh, I think really that's about it. And a microphone, we need a new microphone for our videos. So yeah, uh, we'll do one more big provision, get some fuel tomorrow. And uh, I think in between, while we're in Puerto Rico, Brittany, there have been so many little islands and deserted places, I think we should go and have a beer somewhere, huh? Hi, baby. Right, we got lights too. Oh, you're not supposed to come through. Okay, yeah. <gasps> what? We got you a toy. Come on down. Jackson, come. Is that your toy? Oh, is that your toy? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, hey? Oh, no. Hey. Is that your. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. You gave me a toy. Ah. <laughs> Good catch, buddy. Oh, he wants to take it to the bedroom. Oh no. The next day, we set off for round two. Now, we haven't seen a place like this since we set sail over four years ago. So, we need a lot of stuff. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? We're in hurricane season now, guys, so we need to be properly prepared and well stocked up as we make our way up through to the Bahamas. It's huge. Yeah, it's massive. You're all the way down there, all the way down there. And all the way back I've there. never <laughs> seen stores like this in my life. These places are absolutely massive and full of an excessive amount of junk. Now, I'm not even complaining. I'm just totally blown away by the array of choices I had for anything I needed. It was like, 
Whoa, mind blowing. Oh my lordy. Now, it didn't take long to dive into consumerism. We were like kids in a candy shop and just felt bombarded by billboards everywhere. Did I mention how large everything is too? Everything just has to be bigger and better than the next. We feel like the world's gone mad. So if our lives all decked out with everything we needed, we made our way back to Customs and Immigration, ready to check out before the next tropical storm decides to join the party. But in true Caribbean style, they never rocked up. What have we done, Ryan? Give it up. I'm leaving. The next morning, I cruise back to Customs, ready to give it another shot. Meanwhile, Brittany, a culinary genius, dove into a famous passage food prep whipping up some wickedly delicious chicken, burritos, and a medley of chopped fruits, you name it. When I got back, I started nibbling on the pot leftovers while getting in the zone to set sail for this epic week-long passage to Bahamas. It's all happening here on Sunday, so please subscribe to follow along our journey because it's about to get wicked. And did I mention, we scored an invite to the Annapolis Boat Show this year in the USA. Meaning all you awesome folks, that would be a total blast. Trust me, we'll be keeping you in the loop with all the details as they unfold. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. guys so we've provisioned i've meal prepped i've taken my seasick pill we've stowed everything away it's basically time to go on a four-day passage to bahamas and we are so excited so let's get ready to go guys subscribe to us here on youtube to join the journey each week and if you're craving more sailing sunday click on one of these videos to satisfy your sailing fix